Hi everybody. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a simple, simple movement in the Blender game engine. And uh, let's let's go into start. Uh, this is what you see when you open Blender, okay? And this in this window you are going to see what keys I'm pressing. So the first thing we have to do is to change the Blender mode from from Blender render to uh, Blender game, okay? Now, if you push P, you are entering in the game mode. So now we are in the game engine. Uh, nothing happened, okay? We are going, the first thing we are going to do now is to change the cube from uh, an static object to a dynamic object, okay? Excuse uh, my pronunciation. Uh, so we have to do to this uh, property windows, okay? And uh, in the physics panel, you have to change with uh, the cube selected. You select it object with the right uh, button in your mouse, the right mouse button, okay? You change the, you, we are going to change the physics type from static, static, from dynamic, okay? Be sure this option is check it, this tilde, the actor option. And now our cube is a dynamic object. Okay, if I push P, you can see how the cube is falling because now it's affected by the uh, the physics laws. Okay. The th uh, now the second things we are the second. <laughs> The second thing we are going to do is to add a floor, a floor for our game, okay? So I'm going to the top view and I push shift A, add mesh plane, and scale it, and, go, and I push it down the cube, below the cube, okay? Now we have a floor, so if I push P, the cube doesn't fall, okay, the cube is falling down until the cube reach the floor, okay? Good. Now, uh, the, the next thing we have to do is to get uh, the cube moving. We are going to add some movement to the cube, okay? So we have to go to the logic editor, logic editor here, and uh, now we have these windows, okay? The logic editor windows. This is, uh, the, from this window is uh, where you control the game, where you are going to define all logic about the, the game. What we are going to do is make, is to get uh, my cube, to move when I prove when I push a key, okay. So I'm going to add a cable sensor. The cable sensor is the part of the game that reads if I'm pushing a key. In this case, the left arrow key, okay. I add a controller. And I join these dots. So when I push left arrow, this sensor is going to be turning on, it's going to be on, and it's going to turn on this control, and it's going to turn on this actuator. That it's finally the actuator is the one uh, that make uh, something, in this case, to move the cube, okay? So we need a uh, actuator motion type. Okay, we join the dots and now uh, we have a lot of options here in the motion actuator. The first one is we have to choose between servo control or simple motion. Okay, now we are going to use simple motion. And what what I want to do is, uh, again, to move our cube with some uh, velocity. So I have here the option of linear velocity. That's what I want. I have three uh, fields, X, Y, and Z, Z. Okay? 
X1 is the red one, Y is the green one, and blue is the red one. I want to move my cube in this axis, this direction here, the X1, okay? Uh, I did that to difference between the front and the back, okay? So, if I push here 5, if I put here 5, what I'm getting, I'm getting move to move my cube in the X, the red one, the X direction, with a velocity of 5, 5 units per frame, okay? Per frame, I'm not sure about that. And I have to push this uh, this button too, the L one. The L button makes the velocity to make a uh, local. I mean, uh, make the cube uh, go always in his front direction. I'm going to show you what I mean. If now I push P, I can, and I push left arrow, I can see how the cube is moving. Okay, okay, I didn't want left one, I want up arrow, okay. That's all. If I push P and I push up arrow, my cube is moving, okay? Again, okay. Now what I want to, su to do, what I want to do is uh, turn, turn, to get turn the cube. So I add a keyboard sensor, a new controller. The key now is the left one. Now, yes, the left one, the left arrow. And now, again, a motion actuator. So that's what I want. And I want to get rotate the cube. So this is my option, rotation. Rotation around the Z, the Z X, the Z direction, the blue one. Okay, so I'm going to put one degree. One degree is enough. If you don't like, you can change it. Now, if I push P and I push left arrow, you can see my cube turning. Okay, if I push up, you can see how it's moving and turning at the same time. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you what mean local velocity. If I push, excuse me, here. Now uh, the linear linear velocity is not local; it's global. What that mean? We are going to see. If I push P, and I get uh, push up, obviously the cube move in his in its front direction. But if I turn it and I push uh, up again, the cube now is moving in the global X direction, not its own X direction. Okay, that's what mean local or global velocity. That's global and that's local, okay? That's the, uh, the difference. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoy. I hope you can understand my English. Thanks for watching.